Hi everybody, it's really nice to be with you. Um, Mother Mitzi has talked to us about the saints and what it is to be a saint. And I was thinking that it would be helpful to think a little bit about which particular saints might be helpful for us to think about this week. And this is a really important week um, for everyone in the world because this week in the United States of America, there is an election to decide who will be the next president. And that person will be president of the United States, but because the United States is a very, very big and powerful country, that person will have a lot of power in the entire world. So all of us are praying for the people of the United States and that they will have a wise leader. And there have been saints in the past who have taught us about how governments should behave and taught us about how we all can treat each other in a way that is kind and fair. And not just treat how we can treat the people that around us, the people we know in a way that is kind and fair, but also how we can have laws that are kind and fair and governments that are kind and fair, and how we can ensure that the police behave in a way that is kind and fair. And I thought that there are two saints uh, who are shown on the front of Westminster Abbey that I might tell you about. Now, Westminster Abbey is a really important church in the center of London. It's probably the most important church in our country. It's been there for a thousand years. For a thousand years, kings and queens have been crowned there. And our queen, Queen Elizabeth, she was crowned there and she was married there. So it's a really important place. And about 20 years ago, they decided that they wanted to put on the front of Westminster Abbey, this very important church, they wanted to put statues of very important saints. And so they did that. And those saints aren't just saints from England, they're saints from around the world. They wanted people from around the world to, because all of those people from around the world have helped us understand how to be better people. And of those saints that they put on the front of Westminster Abbey, seven of those are people of color. And I'm going to tell you about two of them right now. I'm going to show you a picture of them. And the first person that I'm going to tell you about is this person here. You can see that he has a pointy hat on and that is because he is a bishop, which is a very, very important person in the church. That bishop is a man named Janani Luam and he is from Uganda, which is a country in Africa. And Janani Luam lived in Uganda at a time when the government was taken over by someone who behaved in ways that were very unfair and very cruel. And Janani Luam was a brave man and also a man who was very passionate about the idea that every single person has been made by God and every single person needs to be treated with respect and care and dignity. And so Janani Luam said that very, very bravely to this cruel government and he was arrested and he was killed but he was killed because he was so brave and we remember him as an example of how to be very focused on God and to tell the truth about God's love of each one of us. So we have a statue of Janani Luam on the front of Westminster Abbey to remind us of that. And the other person I wanted to talk about is near the middle. He's right there. And he is an American. And he is someone that many of you will already have heard of. And he's a person who taught us a lot about how American government 
should behave. And so he's an important person for us to be thinking about today. And his name is Martin Luther King. And Martin Luther King not only taught us about how government should behave, but he was really, I think, the most important Christian leader that Americans have ever had. And I'm an American, so I feel particularly close to him. And some of you may have heard me say that I was seven years old when Martin Luther King was killed. I was living in the States and I remember very clearly what that was like and how sad we were and indeed how sad many of us still are that he was killed. But he helped us make a lot of progress in terms of behaving better and being fairer and kinder in how we treat people. When Mother Mitzi was talking, she said something very important about saints. She said that even after saints die, they still shine a light, they still show us the way. And so even though Martin Luther King is dead, many of us feel that he is still a light that leads us forward, which is really what saints do for us. And for me, it is a particular joy to go to Westminster and to see Westminster Abbey and to find my fellow countrymen and our great Christian leader there in a statue on the front of Westminster Abbey. So I hope that as you move forward today, you can feel the strength of those people who have shown us God's love. And I hope that you may feel God's love with you today and every day. Bye-bye.